Today is the perfect day to talk fall trends because this lighting is so fall-esque to me. I feel like the best lighting is in the fall where I am. And so I'm very excited to talk today about fall trends and the things that I've just been thinking about. I've really been thinking hard the past few months because I wanted, I didn't want to like rush this video and just get it out because fall trends mean everything to me. Like fall fashion in general means everything to me. And so I really wanted to curate a list of things that I really have been seeing pop up, whether it's on runways, on social media, from different parts of the world. I feel Feel like that's where I kind of grab what I'm going to like for the next season where other people have that season already you know so this is just a curation of all the things that I like for fall and some trends that I've been seeing pop up if you like this video at any point you can subscribe down below first up we have glitter and sequins sequined everything but especially like maxi skirts that are sequined skirts that are sequined um, boots with the glitter like the Chanel boots specifically I cannot find anything that resembles this that's not Chanel but I want something like this so bad I think they are so beautiful and adds such a nice like element to any outfit um, but sequins in general do that I feel like for fall it's something that I normally would not think is a fall thing and of course I think it's definitely like a year-round thing but for some reason my head when I think about it is normally towards Christmas time or within the last year to like summer and spring um, but I think that sequins definitely makes sense in fall and it adds such a nice texture and visual element with like fall colors especially um and so i really 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 am looking to try that out i do have like a little sequin skirt that i think it would be so cute paired with like a carhartt jacket you know like really meshing those kinds of worlds together is something that i personally love and so i love seeing sequins right now quick mention plaid skirts which are always the thing again plaid is of course just a, a fall thing um but maxi plaid skirts and like kilts like that they're all over ebay i just ordered one on ebay and i think it's like the best thing ever. As far as runways go, I feel like Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger always have plaid and featured that. Um, but I think in the ways that they're styling it right now is so good. And then also Vivian Westwood plaid is such a different storyline to me. And I just really get a lot of inspiration from that. Also Stella McCartney. I saw some plaid on Stella McCartney's runway and I think that is so delicious as well. Varsity jackets, Letterman jackets. I feel like I've mentioned this within my last fall and winter uh, trends video, but I think this year I've been seeing even more of them or I think I'm going to see even more of them and I personally am on the lookout for one that has like the hood it's like you know like the zip up hood thing in the back I think those look so sick and I think again just bring like such a cool youthful feel to an outfit and um I just love the details on it and how vintage it looks I really I've seen some on Poshmark I've seen some on eBay and I think styling them again with like a white lace skirt and things like that ballet flats I don't know I just love the feel of a varsity jacket right now okay so off the shoulder tops and boat neck style tops are something that is so on my radar this year and it's something that I actually bought into like I have a boat neck top which I've been thinking about for a while now I but I found a really good one that I want to show you I'm wearing it right now um I don't know if you can see this correctly but it's just like a very kind of like more nonchalant boat neck I found this on Gap for a really good price it's really stretchy and I really like it but I just wanted to mention that boat necks and just simple things like that but off the shoulder I feel like last winter I really started to get into off the shoulder I'm like, why am I just now finding out how much I love off the shoulder pieces because I feel like it's so sexually sexual so sexy but it's again just so like chill it's like a chill sexy vibe and um I just love showing off this part I just think it's again just so pretty so again I think shirts like that shirts like this that are just this is more casual version and I just like the detail of it it's very simple and plain, and it, but it adds to me shape to your outfit, you know? Another one that I am so obsessed with, and I have been for the past, last few years, but I'm so excited to get back into it, are colorful tights. Um, I think colorful tights with literally any outfit is so fun, and I think that everyone's been talking about the color red for fall, and I think a pair of red tights for fall um, is so good. I, I bought a pair last winter or fall or something, and I wore them all throughout the fall and winter, and I loved pairing them with outfits going out, but also just like casual outfits. I think that they're so practical because they keep you warm, but also they're just so cute, and I think like matching the tights to your shoes is actually really fun too. And and yeah, colorful tights galore. So equestrian style boots are obviously a rite of passage for like me as a horse girl, but I love, I love the style of them. And I feel like as the years go on that I've been seeing them more and more, um, the way they're evolving, I really like like styled wise, like how people are styling them is what I mean, I guess. Um, I really like them just with basically anything, but I, again, I really feel like mixing that kind of equestrian look with things like this is something that I really have been loving to look at lately. Any kind of knee high boots, but especially the equestrian riding boots, I think that they are such a staple. They are timeless 
timeless also. Um, and I think, again, they can be styled in so many different ways. Runway-wise, Stella McCartney had um, styled them in a way that I really liked. And so, yeah. Rain attire is something that is new to me as far as wanting to style it in a cute way. I've always obviously owned it because I live in Michigan and it's, you know, cold and wet. I've just recently had my eyes opened to the plethora of ways you can style rainwear, like rain jackets, rain boots, and um, ways to make them cuter than just having to wear them for functionality purposes. You know what I mean? Um, I think they can be a key component in an outfit and really change the feel and vibe of an outfit. Like, like specifically this picture here is stuck in my head from Copenhagen Fashion Week of this beautiful blue skirt with this orange rain jacket. And again, it's so practical, but it has such a nice story to it. Personally, I love the idea of like a white lace skirt or pants or something like that mixed with things like that and um or like bows you know what i mean like with the hair bows and the ballet flats mixed with the rain stuff i think is so cute oh my god imagine like a rain boots with a bow on them you know it's definitely out there within like the um little girls realm of fashion i'm not sure about adult fashion um but i do <laughs> like that idea another thing that you guys know i am always always the biggest advocate for are polka dots. I think that they, again, are just timeless forever and they are so gorgeous, so perfect always. Like no matter the polka dot, I love it. And um, I think polka dots are going to be so good for fall and for me, a staple in my fall wardrobe. And again, I love styling them with plaids and like darker, deeper tonal colors. And I think it adds that nice pop into an outfit with still being in like a neutral outfit, like, you know, like a white and black polka dot piece and style in so many different ways. And I just love, I love polka dots. And I think that for fall, they are so, so good. And again, with everything I've mentioned, but um, I really, and with red, like polka dots with red, like I think that's a great combination as well. I think it was recently I saw polka dots on the Jock Moose runway. And that's when I was like, yes, like, I love seeing it when it's on the runway. I just love it. Next, we have like not only quilt jackets, but quilt everything. And I think quilt shorts, quilt skirts. Um, Cezanne really does quilted pieces so well. And obviously also Etsy. I've talked a lot about Etsy with the quilted pieces. I think they have such a good selection, but um, I just really love anything quilted. And I've loved them for years. And I think with um, See New York and things like that, which is one of my all-time favorites. And I think with those coats, like the quilting stuff caught my eye a lot. And um, they actually have like a lot of other pieces as well, like skirts, shorts, pants, um, tops, even like these really beautiful like balloon sleeved tops that are quilted. And it just opens my eyes to the possibilities of quilted pieces. And I think that they, again, it adds such a nice texture and they're so cozy and warm, but they can, and they hold so much structure when you do like the um, balloon sleeve tops and things like that. It's such like a statement to me. And I really, really love anything quilted. So like 70s sport fashion to me has really caught my eyes well this year. I actually just saw a shirt from Target that reminds me of that from the Future Collective. I actually think I have it. I have a haul coming up next, like a part two um, to my other one. And I have that and it's like this blue shirt. And I think it's so, it gives me such 70s vibes, but like sporty and like casual at the same time. And, or like that 70s show. I really, really like shirts like that, especially, but like all sorts of things within that um, realm of like sportiness. This is one that I'm literally wearing the opposite of right now because I will always forever love the big, 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 big ass glasses. Um, but I've been seeing so often lately smaller glasses come back in, which my husband and I laugh about so much because Jared used to have, like whenever I met him, that's those are the kind of glasses he had. And he like is scarred by them forever because that's like what he had his whole life. And so he, when we were like talking about it recently, we were like, I just feel like it's been crazy how quickly that turnaround was, um, but I've been seeing them and I personally am like not scarred by them and I love them. I mean, they're just glasses and I, I just like the little small versions, like eyeglasses, what I mean, like sunglasses too, but those have been a thing, but I think eyeglasses being smaller now, um, I've seen so often and I really like it. I like it. But what do you think? Belts, unnecessary belts, necessary belts, all kinds of belts, studded belts, Oh my God, the studded belts, I think it's like by K. Like, and also within that, buckles all over the place, like on shoes, on tops, things like that. But belts all over the place, I love belts. And even when you have no belt loops to put the belt in, I think wearing a belt adds so much to an outfit and it's something that I personally want to experiment more with. I just don't, I feel like I own like one belt and I never wear it. So another pair of shoes that I really like for fall and I, th I don't know how practical they are for fall, but I do really like the idea of them are mesh flats. And I mentioned them in my summer one because the obviously mesh shoes in the summer makes so much sense. 
but in the fall I feel like they can on a warmer day like you can get away with it or like with fun funky socks and like you kind of like play around with the element with it but um I saw some on Etsy that I think are so beautiful um that I'm thinking about grabbing I really love a mesh shoe I think mesh anything but a mesh shoe for fall is so fun to me um I actually saw where did I see this a mesh booty or something maybe I'm making that up I might be making that up but I thought it was Chanel I'm not sure nonetheless mesh ballet flats like what if you live in a warmer climate though for fall I feel like that's really good actually I just thought about it that not everyone lives in my climate you know anyway also peplums like low, drop waist peplums have been so all over the place um through it from everywhere and I love them and I especially love them with the V that goes into it and I just think they are so beautiful and add such like a nice element to uh peplum I love peplums in general um but I like the drop waist I haven't tried it on myself but I do like the thought of it lastly one of my favorite things within the accessory category is like headwear like scarves and things like that and I think that for fall this fall specifically, I think for a lot of people, but also especially for me, we'll have a lot of emphasis on fun accessories um, for your head, like the balaclava um, that was within the past few years, I think, of course, we'll still um, see, but also think like scarves that match your outfit, like have the same pattern or just like hair scarves in general. Also, the big, big scrunchies or like, you know, like the flower scrunchies from Sandy Leong. I think those are such a big thing and I think for fall they're so cute um but within that there's also another brand that I can't think of that that make that like really big white lace scrunchie uh and I think those are really fun and such a nice fall accessory again adds such a nice texture in your outfit it's so easy and simple I actually just found one very similar to that brand because that's really expensive I found one on eBay that I bought and I'm really excited to wear it I just think it's so fun I was like I want to make it but I feel like there's so much to it I don't know how I've never made a scrunchie are they easy? But anyway, huge scrunchies, huge hair pieces like that. Also like the Kangol hats. I have been seeing a lot of lately and I really like those because they remind me of a paperboy hat, which I love my paperboy hats, especially in the fall. It's, I will love that forever. I don't care what anyone says about those hats. I will love them forever. But yeah, also berets. Sailor hats for fall. I love Kali Studios has this one sailor hat that has this long piece that you tie into a bow under your chin and I think it's so cute. But anyway, those are all of my fall trends and things that I really like for fall and that I will be trying out. I've been doing a lot of shopping lately on like Poshmark and eBay and I just feel like with it with these, I don't know. I, I know I just did a video on J. Crew and thing and like the outfits there that I really like for fall and that still stands, but I didn't want to repeat myself. But um I did just find this really cute barn jacket that I think will be such a good staple for fall. And they have tons of them on Poshmark. Like it's this baby blue and I think it's so good. So that's another thing that I'll just soft mention at the end of this video before we go. Um but Anyway, thank you so much for being here. I would love to hear what you're liking for fall or what you're excited to wear or any trends that you're predicting too that if I didn't mention any or what you think on the ones I did. I'd like to talk with you guys down below. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for being here. Subscribe if you're not already and I love you very much. Bye!